check out this cute little guy. So here is the little habitat I made for the guy. It's it's really not. It's barely meets his needs, and just barely. It's not very. It's not humid enough. I try to make it humid. At least it's warm in here. Um, this room is 47. I mean 47 degrees. Per, I mean percent. Oh God, my brain is not on today. 47 percent humidity and uh, 76 um, degrees in temperature. So at least it's at least somewhat humid and somewhat warm in here, but this is not enough for this little guy. So he is back here. Because it's not humid enough, I did put um, some, some bottled water in here, and he's kind of just sitting in the water. So this is his way of compensating for there not being enough humidity. You see him? He's just hanging out right there. I'll also show some photos of him, because I don't really want to bother him and try to get him to come out. Oh, you can see him that way. There we go. So there he is. We're thinking he's a Cuban tree frog, and we're gonna take him to my exotic vet, where I take Mochi the bunny for her bi-weekly um, veterinary procedures anyways. So they're gonna take him, they're either gonna find him a home or hold on to him while a rescue can take him, or somebody's gonna take him, pretty much. So that way he will have his needs med, as well as get some basic veterinary care. You know, they could check up on him, make sure he's healthy, so he's super, super cute. Uh, for those of you that might be wondering, hey Kasha, why don't you keep him? You could probably take care of a frog. Well, I mean, I could if I got the proper enclosure and everything for the frog, but realistically right now I'm not ready to take care of a tree frog, especially an animal I've never had before. As you can see right here, I'm still setting up my 20, uh, I mean, God, not 20, see, I'm really tired today. My 55 gallon tank for my cichlids. I have some cichlids right here in quarantine. I'm setting up my breeding bed on tank. And on top of that, Mochi the bunny is still fighting the infection. So I already have a lot on my plate in terms of what I have to do. Can you still see him? He's in there somewhere. Oh, he's peeking. Hello. So as you can see, I still have a lot to do. And I just don't think right now is the right time to take on an animal. I'm just gonna scooch him over here so you can see him better. To take on an animal that I have no experience with, um, I mean in the future maybe I could have tree frogs but it would only be after months of extensive research and first having the proper enclosure and equipment and everything ready for it so I think it's best to give this guy up. Uh, we can't unfortunately return him to the wild either even though he's from Florida because we believe he's a Cuban tree frog and those are an invasive species in Florida so returning him back to the wild even though he is wild wouldn't be the responsible thing to do so the best thing to do is to hand him over to qualified professionals which in this case would be the staff at the local exotic veterinary hospital and there you know he's gonna get a lot better care he's gone through a lot having to journey on the plants from Florida to here. He hasn't eaten in two days. I fed him yesterday and today, so at least finally he's eaten after that. But he's gone through a lot, and I don't want to make this any harder for him, and this is definitely not a good enough enclosure. This is good temporary for him, you know, barely meeting his needs, but we gotta do what's best for this little guy. Also, side note, my cousin keeps insisting in that we call him Mark, so while he is temporarily with us, he is Mark the Frog. We shouldn't name him because we're going to get attached, but he's so cute. He's just nice and comfy hanging out between the rocks and the water. Cute little guy. Time to say goodbye to Mark the Frog. I moved him in the smaller critter keeper that I was keeping the crickets in. We're taking him to the exotics vet where they will take him and um, either hold on to him until the rescue can take him or maybe someone, a staff, will be able to keep him. But either way, I put a lot of pothos plant for him. I put in some paper towel with some um, dechlorinated bottled water in here. And uh, yeah, he's, he's not happy because I have to catch him. So he's kind of mad at me, but I wanted to transport him in this versus the other 
enclosure because in the other enclosure the rocks could move around and then they could either fall on him or squish him so this is kind of safe so that's what he's gonna go I just need to put some saran wrap on top to kind of keep him from getting too cold so that's what I'm gonna do